When it comes to getting approved for a mortgage, it's useful to know how banks see you. And I'm not just talking about your credit score, which of course is important, but really your overall financial portrait. In other words, it's important to know if you're an A, a B, or a C borrower. Yes, there are types, and yes, there are lenders for each one of these. So let's find out which one you are. Hi, my name is David Pons and I'm a mortgage broker right here in Montreal, Quebec. On these videos, we explore mortgages and all their quirks and features. And we also learn a little bit about finance and credit. If you never want to miss any of these fascinating videos, make sure to like, subscribe, and most importantly, press the bell icon so you get notified when I post. Let's take a look at borrower types. Most of you know that your credit score will have an impact on whether you're approved for a mortgage or not. And you're right, it does weigh pretty heavily in the decision. But there's other factors too. Income level, income type, length of time as a self-employed individual, loan to value, and I'm skipping a bunch. While each file is unique, we can still group everyone into three groups. A, B, and C. So let's take a look at A borrowers. These are people who will get approved automatically and in every scenario, they have stable incomes, savings, investments, you know the type, the kind of clients that every bank is actively looking for. So what specifically though, are the requirements to be considered an A borrower? We well, have to have a credit score of 680 and more, no previous bankruptcy or consumer proposal, or a minimum of two years since discharge with credit rebuilt after the discharge. Debt servicing ratio is not exceeding 3542. This means that the new principal, interest, taxes, and heating payments don't exceed 35% of admissible gross income. And if you add monthly debt payments, it doesn't exceed 42%. No income tax arrears, no property tax arrears. Also, self-employed individuals need to not only have two years in operation, but more importantly, have two years of personal income taxes done. And it's important to have declared and paid taxes on enough personal income to qualify. This means that for someone who starts a new self-employment in, let's say, November of 2023, they'll have to wait until early 2026 until they have two years of representative income. This can make it complicated for self-employed individuals who see no benefit in paying themselves and also, most importantly, paying large taxes on a large salary. But does this mean that if you don't meet these criteria, you can never get an A loan? Of course not. I mean, there's always a gray zone, right? With credit, it's always gray. There's exceptions, special cases, etc. But generally speaking, yep, that's it for A borrowers. So what are B borrowers? Well, there's something very important to be said about this group. I've worked extensively in B lending, and there's an unfortunate stigma here. The vast majority of clients in this group have had life-changing situations, difficult divorces, deaths in the family, illnesses, victims of fraud, conjugal violence. The image that as a whole, this group is irresponsible and can't be trusted with money, it's just false. It's completely and utterly false. Still, a bank is free to determine its own risk appetite. So how to finance B borrowers? Well, this is where we start to look at the wonderful world of alternative banks. These are the same banks as A banks, they're regulated by the same federal law, only there's no physical offices for consumers. And there's all kinds of great things that can be done in that world. For example, self-employed individuals who started as recently as six months ago. Self-employed individuals who declare very little personal taxes, but whose business make a lot of money. I'll have a separate video to tell you all about that program and I'll link it down below. So keep an eye out for that. Credit scores as low as 500 with some banks and with no floor with others. That's right, I've had some clients with credit scores in the 400s get approved. Clients currently in a non-discharge consumer proposal. We can get the money to pay off the remainder of the proposal and get an early discharge. Clients with smaller income so could benefit from debt servicing ratios going as high as 60%. Now, you might think you'll end up paying a lot more in interest to be able to borrow with these banks, but the answer is no, not always. I mean, generally speaking, rates are higher, but only by about 1% to 1.2% than the rest of the market. And the most important thing to remember is that these banks are only available with conventional loans. This means that you need to have at least 20% equity in the home. And finally, C borrowers. Who is this for? Well, these are clients who don't fit in either of the other two boxes and they still desperately need financing. This type of financing requires a private lender who was going to ask for a much higher interest rate for the risk he's willing to take. The goal, of course, isn't to stay with a private lender forever. The idea is to fix the problems and refinance with a B lender sometime later in order to pay back the private lender. So what types of clients need private loans? No qualifiable income at the moment. Perhaps a new self-employed individual with less than six months track record, credit history with terrible track record of late, collections, judgments, and yes, even with no floor, sometimes banks will look at a credit report and they'll say, I'll pass. The only option then would be a private lender. The idea with C borrowing is to fix things in order to become a B borrower and then eventually an A 
borrower. Private lenders are going to charge anything from 12 to 18% interest. The loans are often interest only, so you don't pay down your capital at all. So it's going to be very important to have an exit strategy. That is, you need a plan for how you won't stick around with a private lender forever. Not only does a private lender want his money back quickly, trust me, you don't want to be paying these fees forever either. That's the whole story of A, B, and C borrower. For more videos like this, tune in next time.